we are kicking off this episode talking about the Austin Aries Christy Hemi incident. Ah. Because uh, Glenn Fielding asked us to talk about this, and you know what? He's a big fan of the show. He's a big supporter of us. He's got us on Pro Wrestling World. I think that was the a, website. A Supla He's, super fan, if you will. A, yes, he is possibly the biggest Supla fan I know of, besides, of course, myself. Because I fucking love myself. I'm such a big fan of, of myself. Of course you do. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'd I'm, consider myself to be among the super fans, but you know, Liam too, because you know he's a narcissist like that. I, I don't know what that word means. Fantastic! All right, so Christy Hemi and Austin Aries, Jesus Christ. Moving on, Austin Aries. <laughs> basically, so the news is, uh, Glenn Fielding said that Mickey Mouse is the new mascot of Wrestling Truth. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the news, of, <laughs> the news of it is. Christy Hemi, and I think two weeks ago, Christy Hemi botched Austin Aries' introduction when he was coming down to the ring. As, and everyone else's. Yeah, and everyone else's, because, you know, let's face it, it's Christy Hemi, she's got weird hands. So, <laughs> what well, she does, have you seen it? It looks like fucking witch hands. They're really what sort of do like, her hands have to do with this? Because she looks, her hands are weird. Anyway. Everyone knows that your hands are proportional to your announcing abilities. Well, well, you know, you are holding the microphone. Of course. There you Wait, go. hold on, Glenn. What are you, Pro Wrestling Revolution? What is that? That's what it's changed its name to. Who? See, this is why people need to join. This is why people need to join the live chat because if you're not in the live chat and you're listening to us on iTunes, you're thinking, "What the fuck are they talking about?" So join us <laughs> on the live chat. We're on live stream every, well, every two Sundays. Uh, the Supla, www.livestream.com forward slash the Supla. We have live chat there. Anyway, that's enough plugging for this episode. Moving on to the news. That we've Otherwise, you'll think about. this show is run by a bunch of schizophrenics who talk to themselves. Exactly. But, uh, so yeah, so Chrissy Hemi botched Austin Aries' introduction. And uh, as, a, as a way of getting back at her, while in character, can I just say, while in character... As a way of getting back to back at her, um, she was stood in the bottom right turnbuckle. So Austin Aries, in his heel persona, decided to stand on the turnbuckle and pose while she was still stood there. This means that she was exactly eye level with his crotch. Now, she seemed unfazed at it at the time, and maybe maybe that's just guessing because she was in her professional persona, but. Um, Somebody on Twitter asked, what did she think to that? And she replied, it was totally unacceptable. A couple of days later, uh, Dixie Carter broke the news that Austin Aries had been fined for doing this. They didn't release how much he'd been fined, but he had been fined, saying it was inappropriate behaviour. Now, I can see why many people would think it is inappropriate behaviour. At the end of the day, it is a fixed show, it is scripted. Although he was acting in character, he shouldn't have done that. I can see why people would say that. But, guys, it's Christy Hemi. She's posed nude for Playboy. And she's getting upset that somebody stood up in front of her. And she was at crotch level. Has she never been on the London Underground? Fucking, <laughs> that is a normal day going through fucking King's Cross. <laughs> like, I can't tell everyone that's also unacceptable and expect them to pay a fine. I mean, you get fucking crotches, armpits, tits. That's the best one, when you get tits in your face. But besides <laughs> that, like, seriously, this is... The girl posed nude on Playboy, possibly having hundreds of thousands of people wanking furiously over her naked body, and she gets slightly upset that somebody's just... She's got a crotch at eye level. It's not like Austin Aries even fucking thrusted or anything. It's, he just literally stood there. It's not like he shoved her face into his fucking balls. Like, I've, the company's in shit right now. I'm sorry. The company is in shit. In fact, another part of the article that I was going to come up against later, it's had all-time low ratings, right? It's been at the bottom of the ratings for a, a while. And this is what they're getting upset about? I mean, really? Yeah, I have a problem with this... For a different reason. Like, wrestlers do this kind of small crap to each other all the time. But God forbid Austin sticks his dick near a girl's face. Now it's a problem and he has to pay for it. Now it's, it's a freaking problem. It's, I don't know. They overreact to things for the wrong people and for the wrong reasons. Like, if Christy Hemi complains, now it's a problem. 
I, it? I'm not down with that. I just, I don't see why she made it such an issue. She messed up the introduction, and then in character, he had a go at her. It makes sense. But apparently, yeah. it's, to me, it's the idea of, like, heel Chris Jericho. What was it? He threw a flag or something? I, it was something about the Brazilian Yeah, flag. he was in, they were touring in Brazil, and on a house show, he, like, stomped on the Brazilian flag, and he got, like, arrested or something or something. I don't remember. He got suspended. Yeah, he got suspended, but I think there was also, like, legal problems in Brazil when he was there. And I just, I don't understand. It's the idea, for me, it's like, I'm just going to bring up a bit of a, a, a bit of a strange point here, but let's just look at the Nazis, right? Okay. <laughs> I know. I know. What a, a segue. Thing. So let's it's take a, a look at strange, Nazis. You know, way to link it, but you know, you look at something like, I don't know, Schindler's List or Saving Private Ryan, and and it's very much you know the Nazis are the bad guys, and it's the Germans, and it's the Jews, and it's like. It's like saying the Jews trying to sue Steven Spielberg because the fucking swastika was in the film. It's 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 fake. I don't understand why they can't do this sort of stuff in wrestling. We all know it's scripted. We all know it's not real. So if Chris Jericho stomps on a flag, we know it's his character. It's not actually him. He's not being, I don't know, anti-nationalist to Brazilian... I don't know what the fucking word is. But you know what I mean? He's not... He's doing it to get a reaction. That's the whole reason why you see, you know, the fucking Nazis in films torture Jews. It's to get a reaction from the audience. It's not. It's not because the fucking director's political. Steven Spielberg's Jewish. Yeah. It's not like he's trying to, you know, piss off Jews. And I'm it's not, not like entirely, he's saying. I'm not entirely sure how Christy Hemme's incident relates to Schindler's List, but I see where you're going with this. Do you see where I'm going with it? <laughs> I do. In a very it, strange way. <laughs> it was an in-character thing. It was a TV moment, and she blew it out of proportion. It's like, well, yeah, it's Christy Hemi, and it's other people as well. They, they do this a lot. It's like, again, a couple of years ago, JBL did the, the goose step in, while they were touring Germany. Now, frankly, that is a fucking bold move, even on in-character. That's a fucking Well, that's bold JBL move. for you. That's, that's JBL for you. And it is illegal to do it in Germany, so I can kind okay, of that's see. A, different. <laughs> I, I can kind of see a reason why he got into shit. He didn't get. This is what I mean, right? JBL did the fucking goose step in Germany, gets nothing, and is still the WWE champion. Chris Jericho stomps on a flag, gets suspended. Like you can say it's a change of times or whatever, but it's just the idea. Look, these guys are in character. They're just trying to get a fucking reaction out of you. Now, if they get the reaction that they're looking for, which is, I fucking hate you, they've done a good job, but th wh where is the line where you can, where you say you can't do this? Because the idea to me is that villains break those lines. They, you know, you're supposed to say, it's a whole heel and face thing, you know, heels break the rules. So that's what they're yeah. going to, that's what they're going to do. Like, they're not going to abide by the rules. Yeah, I, it, I don't know. She's... I, just, again, I, just think, out of I think for a, a Playboy cover girl, for a Playboy cover girl, she blew that way out of proportion. I mean, frankly, when you've got 13-year-olds masturbating over your tits, I think that's a bigger issue. Personally, I like how it all, com it all comes back to masturbation. It always comes back to masturbation on this show. This, the show. The Supla, weekly masturbating talk. <laughs> I'm sure many of our younger viewers and listeners would would be interested in that. Go to redtube.com. That's not the time or place to say that. Or, here's a better one, right? Go to whorepresents.com. Oh, no. Just type that in your... Everyone who's listening no, live... No, no, just no, Just put that no, in your no. URL and see what it actually says. Or my other favourite one, penisland.com. No, not that one. <laughs> not that one at all. Penisland.com. So, is there any other news that doesn't relate to porn? Um... Well, apparently Mickey James wasn't the girl in that porn video I was talking about months back. Apparently, it was just a lookalike. Oh, I think I know the video you're talking about. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I, um, I thought she could take a dick. Maybe she can't. Who knows? She works in professional wrestling. I'm sure at some time or another, that's come up in her life. Yeah, they've all... Like, have you seen the pictures of Caitlyn who did, like, some pornography? Like, it wasn't anything... What? 
<laughs> Carmine's ears prick up. It's like she, <laughs> it was only sort of soft core stuff. Like she's just dressed really slutty, but it's quite obvious they were pictures made for a porn website. Like you I can may, just may tell be... the angle and the lighting of a porn fucking shoot. I, I may or may not be opening Google Chrome. Could you just repeat that? No, I'm not going to repeat that. Damn it! You're gonna you're gonna recommend everyone to go to Penn Island, but you're not gonna help me out. <laughs> All right, screw you. You're doing a job. You're you're live on the air. You can't be masturbating whilst live on the air. It's gonna happen later. I'm not you're gonna do it now. Live on the air. Don't tell me then. <laughs> no. So we're talking about extreme rules. <sighs> After the show. After the show. You do know you've just told the world you're going to be masturbating after this show. Shh. Just let that one sink in for a second. I hope your parents listen to this. Do we have any other news to talk about, Liam? Okay, moving on. WWE has released several NXT stars. These include Derek Bateman, Bryce no. Sam Sakamoto, Sakamoto. Percy Watson, Brandon uh Tavern, Audrey Marie, and Anya. Uh, these are, as I said, these are several people from NXT, but there are some notable things that we need to discuss here. Firstly, Derek Bateman is one of the big surprises. Um, he actually was one of the main characters in the NXT run before it became the developmental series. Um, as everyone knows, WWE went through that very weird time with NXT where it was kind of like a third brand. But yeah. What was it, it like was, NXT it was, Redemption? Yeah, it was Redemption, but then like... It went on for like over a year and the storylines, the whole idea of it being a competition sort of broke down and they kept it just as sort of mini storylines. And Derek Bateman was one of the big people in there along with Maxine who was released uh, several months earlier. Yeah. Wait, didn't she quit? She, well, okay, she quit, but yeah, yeah technicalities, fucking technicalities, Mr. Me, me, psychology. Me. Anyway, as I was saying... Derek Bateman was released, and I found that as a surprise because although I didn't think he was great, uh, he was like slightly. I like. Yeah, he he was he was all right, but he he wasn't great on the mic. I thought he tried too hard on the mic. Personally, well, I liked I him more for his character. His character was interesting. Yeah, but like in all honesty, like I've heard much worse mic mic work. Has any like has anyone listened to Biggie Langston's fucking promos? <laughs> <laughs> they are the most cringe-worthy promos I have ever listened to in my life. Well, you see, I love the number five. It's a beautiful number. It's a gorgeous number. You have five fingers on each hand, five toes on each foot. <laughs> it's just like, the one that really pissed me off was like when they were saying, Biggie, you get to make your in-ring debut at WrestleMania. How do you feel? And then he puts on this stupid voice to Matt Stryker where he's like, Well, Stryker, it's like Christmas. New Year's, my birthday, and shitting on a lamb all on the same day. It's like, what? Did you... Really? Like, is that your fucking mic work? Really? Oh, like, he is genuinely shite on the mic. It's hilarious. It's, it's <laughs> awful. It's awful. His mic work is just terrible. Derek Bateman was better than that. I mean, give it. Biggie Langston's got a pretty impressive physique. Heck, he's got more cleavage than half the fucking divas. <laughs> I'm At least surprised it's more he... real. Yeah, to be honest, I'm surprised he's not in the Divas division because seriously, his breast sizes can fucking outmatch a. He's got bigger tits than AJ. Looks like Karma had a makeover. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, Derek Bateman has been released. Briley Pierce is a very interesting one because he is yeah. the real life brother of Dolph Ziggler, and we we can see how big Dolph Ziggler's become. And it's just surprising that they've let this let his brother go at this time, where his, his you know, Dolph Ziggler's the champion, and he's arguably one of the most exciting stars on, on the roster. He, you know, the crowd, even though he's supposed to be the villain, you know, the crowd fucking love him. Everyone loves him. And I just find it surprising. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean because they have the same parents they're going to be, you know, Brian e. Pierce is going to be brilliant. You can just look at the Hardy Boys for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> One's a drug addict, the other one just won't leave the internet alone. 